Hi everyone, this is Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Easter uh, and um, throw a video up this, mor this morning. I cleaned up the yarn room, uh, got all that yarn put away that I had been having in bags and needing a spot for. So I changed things around a little bit, added some space, added some cubicles, uh, and I filmed a little bit while I was doing that. Um, and cooking my turkey. I <laughs> uh, just wanted to wish everyone a happy Easter and show you what I did in the yarn room. So it's a couple, it's segmented and I'm going to try to put it together into one and see how that goes. <laughs> happy Easter again. Thanks for subscribing. Just hit the little button below and uh, I'll see you next time. Good morning. I just wanted to pop in. I'm going to um, do a yarn room makeover because I have, as you can see, bundles that need to be put somewhere. So I thought I would do a preview video real quick. This is what it was. It's not going to be big changes, but hopefully it will be... Um, Hopefully it'll give me space because this whole area here in the middle really... So, wish me luck. Well, here it is. It's done for now. Um, more bins. No more stuff in bags. Except for my whips right there. Um, so, thanks for watching. And it could use probably more cleanup, but I have more yarn coming, so there'll be another cleanup day in a min in a probably <laughs> in a week or ten days. So, but for now, I don't have any more yarn on the floor in bags, so that's a good thing. Bye. Okay, back again. I also said that I would show you the blanket from that I'm making from the Yarn Inspirations garden, spring garden, I think. That's my spring garden. Um, it does still need the end sewn in and the border. I'm gonna do the border. The whole thing was based on this multicolored yarn. Um, not at first, but uh, as I started doing it, I'm like, oh, I love this multicolored yarn. And so the border anyway is going to be that multicolored yarn. I had originally was going to use coral instead of it was going to go I don't remember even what color, but then I found that multicolored yarn in my stash and I thought, "Oh, that yarn is very awesome." Uh, hold on just a second and I will get the skeins of it. Okay, there it is. Uh, see the multicolor and so it had all those colors that I was going to use, minus the coral. So I replaced, I think I put the pink in instead of the coral. And then I added the white, because there wasn't going to be any white in the original design of it. Um, and then these squares were supposed to have, um, these with the big flowers, were supposed to have a, a, um, a different colored border. And my color would have been the multicolor, and I was afraid it would be too, you know, uh, like you wouldn't see, it would make the the stitch, the join, that's the word, it would make the join look wide in those spots, and so I didn't, I, didn't, I put it on and then I took it off. So anyway, um, that is my blanket so far. Tomorrow comes the final piece to the puzzle. And then we'll see what happens. I have an idea of what I would like for the border to look like. And I hope that in the long run, it looks something similar or better. So, there we go. Bye.